In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the Android Oreo app widget shortcuts. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. Now previously, you have probably heard of widgets on phones, and to get to those on Android, you pinch and you can select widgets, and here you have all your widgets. But today we're talking about a different type of widget that has been available on Android Oreo, and now with many new phones getting Android Oreo, I thought this would be a great time to make this video. So this tip will work on your phone if you are running Android Oreo 8.0 or above. So all you need to do is long press on any of the applications and some of them will show this list of shortcuts for the application. Now this isn't on every single application, but today I have gone through my apps and found a bunch of them that I'm really happy about and will show you how they work and show you how you can create a shortcut for the widget. So here in the internet browser, if I wanted to quickly create a new tab, instead of opening up the application and then waiting for it to load, selecting the tab and selecting new tab right here, all I need to do is hold down on the internet and then select new tab and instantly it goes into the web browser and starts that new tab. Well now, if I want to do that action all the time, when I long press on here, each of these can become a shortcut. So now all I have to do is hold down on this or long press and then drop it onto my screen and it shows up like an application and whenever I wanna create a new tab, I would just select that icon and boom, it has opened the web browser and created a new tab. So these will work with any of the app widgets that you find. So here in the phone, if I wanted to create a contact, I could add that to my home screen just like that. Here in the default messaging app, you have create messages. Here in the Play Store, you could go to my apps. Here in the camera, if I wanna quickly jump to the selfie, I just drop that right there. And then as soon as I select that, it would jump right into the selfie camera on the phone. Now these also can be added into different folders. So if you have a bunch of actions that you wanna create into a folder, they act just like an application, you can add them into a folder. So up here, here are some of the Samsung apps that I found that have that. So with Samsung Notes, you could quickly create a note, uh, write with the pen, or record a voice note. My files, you can quickly go to recent files. Contacts, you could create a contact or go to your groups. Calendar, you could quickly create an event, create a task search in the gallery you would be able to search the gallery, and here with clock, you could add an alarm. Now, some of my other favorites that I found is this one with the Google Home app is I could instantly start casting my screen to any of the cast devices that I have nearby. So it opens up that menu, and then I just have one click away from casting. Instead of going into the Google Home app, selecting menu, going down to the cast, and then casting the screen. Some of the other cool ones I found is in the Gmail. So I have multiple Gmail accounts that I use, and sometimes I want to open it into a different Gmail that I previously was in. So when I go into the Gmail, here I have the option to compose, or I could choose the specific email that I want to have. So if I wanna go into my main email, I can now drop that, and as soon as I open up that icon, it will go right into my email. Another one that I think is pretty handy is when you are navigating home. Maybe you wanna have a shortcut on your home screen so you can instantly know the fastest way to get home or the traffic, what is going on. You can just add that right there. Now, another one that I would use a lot is in Google Keep. So with Google Keep, you have a few options. You have new note, new list, new photo note, and new audio. So this versus the other widgets. So this is able to quickly create new things where the widget is able to view different things. So that may be how they kind of work differently. So this is more of a creating and a quick action where the other type of widgets would be more about interacting with what has already been created. So then let's go into some of the messaging here. So in the Android messaging option, you can quickly see who you have been texting. Here with email, you can quickly create a new email. With Hangouts, you can chat, video chat, and do voice calls. And with Twitter, you have the option to search, new tweet, and new messages. 
And then down here with the video applications, so with Google Play Movies and TV, you can quickly jump into your movies. A lot of the times when I go into the app, I never wanna see the main page. I just wanna see my movies. So that is definitely one that I want to add to my home screen. Here in Prime Video, you actually have the option to search, go to your library, watch list, or downloads. And then of course on YouTube, you can quickly search, go to your subscriptions, and look up trending. Now one other option that you do have with these app widgets is if you long press on an app and you have a notification, here you can actually see that notification. Now this doesn't allow me to add that to the home screen, but then I don't even have to open the application, but I can see my different notifications right there and swipe them away if I don't need them, and then it would go right into that notification, which is pretty handy to have. So that is how you add an app, widget, shortcut, to your home screen with Android Oreo. If you guys have any other questions about Android Oreo or any of the things that your phone can do, let me know in the comments below. And if this is your first time here, I would love to have you subscribe so that you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.